What's up everybody? I'm Autumn and I say hello. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're doing a challenge. And not just any challenge. Oh yes, we're limiting color palettes. We're doing the three marker challenge. So as you can see, I put every Copic marker that I own into this bucket. With the exception of these two poor boys who have not been refilled yet. I am so sorry. And of course, our colorless blender because, well, it's colorless. What I'm gonna do is close my eyes and pray, and then I'm gonna pick three markers. And then and then, I'm gonna take those three markers and create a piece with them. I'm closing my eyes now, you're just gonna have to trust me. Here we go. Just gonna grab this one, whatever this is. I'm not gonna look until I picked all three. Um, let me see, okay. Just grab whatever, and then I'll just, whatever this is okay um oh wow <laughs> these actually uh these are actually really nice colors wow so what i ended up with is light rouge r14 is that focusing Ooh, there we go pale grape v91 and mauve shadow bv00 and it's not focused Come on, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, they're all kind of on the light side, except for this light rouge, but um, we're gonna see. At least I think they're on the light side. I guess we won't know until we swatch them. So let's get to that. So I've gone ahead and swatched our colors. Looks like V91 kind of gives us a grayish purple, and BB00 is purple. At least like a lavender. And R14 is a little lighter than I expected. Um, so yeah, we pretty much got some really light colors. As for blending, I think they blend fairly well, kind of okay. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work somehow. Now the question is, what the heck am I gonna draw with these colors? Um. Uh, maybe I should just sketch something out and just see what happens. <laughs> to be honest, the more and more I look at this, the more and more I'm starting to think about snow cones. So maybe I'll play around with that idea and see what I can get. All right, so I just did a couple sketches to try to figure out a pose, and I think I'm really feeling this one and this one together. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something in this general area. I think the colors work well together. I definitely messed up this right here a little bit, but it's okay. Um, I did my color before I did my line art. Let's move on to the actual sketch. So I finished the sketch and I definitely have to say that I really like this. <laughs> what I did is I took the two sketches that I really liked and I decided to just blend those together. I think she's cute. So I'm gonna lighten it up a bit. This is gonna be kind of hard to pull up because I definitely pressed a little hard with my pencil. <laughs> the good thing is that I chose purple for the pencil. So the colors might blend in a bit, which is good. Let's do some line art. All right, y'all, I'm done with the line art and I just gotta say, this is looking real good. 
So I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna move on to the color. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and put down our three markers. I still wanna follow the sketch I did and use the 91 as her skin tone. Um, I thought that was the perfect one. So far, so good. To be honest, I don't think I've ever even used this color, but you know, it's getting some love today. We've got our skin. I believe I've colored everywhere where the skin was. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. Oops. Yeah, I totally didn't. <laughs> Forgot about the ear. For some reason, I always forget about the ears. I don't, I don't know why. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the BV00. I think I'm gonna add a line here because I feel like this jacket will lead up back here. Yeah. That red is what's gonna make everything just wow. <laughs> Maybe not wowza, but it's gonna pop. Most definitely gonna pop. At least I think so. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shadows in for the skin. Just in case it dries. Don't want it to be too dry. Oh yeah. She's looking good. Looking good. Go back and blend some of this out. Time for some red. Somehow I'm gonna have to try to use this red to make a make shadows for the um, sweater and stuff. I think it'll work if I continuously overlap them. <laughs> Let's put one here and see what we can get. Either I've ruined it or I've made it work. <laughs> yeah. Is this pulling the- oh, that's the eraser. Is that eraser? Oh yeah, that's the eraser. <laughs> I thought it was pulling up the paper. I mean, it kind of works. I wish I could get rid of this kind of harsh line there, but it works. So I guess I'll continue to use it. Now I'm thinking I should have made the buttons a different color. Is it too late for that? They'd probably just have to be red. While my hand is laying here and that side is just drenched in in markers. It's just cold. My BB00 is probably like, oh my god, what is she doing? It's just screaming. Maybe I can add one to the leg to make a darker shadow because those two colors were really blended into each other. So I'm gonna make the red darker. I'm gonna have to put this on top. Yeah, that seems to be the trick. That seems to work out pretty decently. I don't think I should go too much over it because it's making it lighter but darker at the same time doing something really weird in other words so far this is looking good I'm gonna go ahead and put the is this the right color yes put the shadow on the shirt here don't want it to just be white I want to utilize the marker somehow put a more few more wrinkles or accentuate the wrinkles this is a lot of the same color here, so I might actually just color that red and put some of the purple on top, the lighter purple on top. See what that gives us. Totally experimenting in here. Or what if I do like a little stripey thing? Make it a pattern instead. Yeah. All right, now on to the hair. I really love the bright red here. <laughs> I think it was really pretty in the sketch. So I was excited to um, 
It's actually color her hair, that color. She was looking like Todoroki for a minute. Well, the red was on the wrong side, but that's who she reminded me of. If I come up out these lines, I'm gonna have a hard time getting that color up. Oh wait, I forgot I have a white gel pen, so uh, never mind. The red hair and the stripes are reminding me of Wendy's. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the hose and go with my original idea. And just color some of the light purple on top. I probably still end up putting a pattern on there. Just gotta figure out. Need something extra. Um... Oh, I forgot her eyebrows, and I forgot this sucker. The snow cone. How am I going to do this? I know I want the top of it to be, like, red. I'm trying to take a different approach, because last time it kind of just blended into itself. So, I'm trying to take, like, a little snow cone approach. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <sighs> I put too much down. So, uh... I probably have to go over that with the white gel pen. Add some more white back in there. I hope that's not cheating. <laughs> Cute. Trying to get some details in there. Alright, I like that. Alright, so. I did say I was going to try to color these buttons here. And then maybe these two. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more. Cause I swear, the more I do stuff, the greater risk that I mess up. I did forget her nails though, so I have to decide whether or not I'm going to do a background color. I'm so tempted because I think it would just be good she looks like she's just there i'm so tempted you know what forget it we're doing a background color i think i'm gonna try to do like a gradient type deal i didn't use a compass or anything so my circle may not be perfect that's all right with me wanted it to be a little funky anyway i'm gonna try to blend in this color for the next portion of the gradient may have just really messed this up but hey I might try to round out my circle a little bit go back with this one and try to blend Ooh. Ooh. and then oh man <laughs> this one did I know? Oh my god, look how deep that is. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a beast to blend, but we can do it. Now that I look at this gradient thing, it reminds me of those um what's those little um them them ice creams? The uh the bomb pops. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of now for whatever reason. I'm definitely gonna try it around. Not that kind of round. This off a bit. Oh boy, look at that. I did not feather it properly. <laughs> I'm about to rub this out. Like, it probably won't even let me. There we go. That's better. Feather this side, so. blend it in better this might be as good as it's gonna get I think I think that's good okay I'm kind of feeling like I should do something in this background but I don't know what I'll just leave it alone for now but what I can do ooh, is round that circle out some more <laughs> I just saw it in my camera and I'm like yeah no that's 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 no good 
Let's round this out. This oh god, now I might have just did too much. Leave it to the camera to show me how bad this really looks. <laughs> the circle that is, cause I think the drawing itself is good. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're not touching this any. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I could have sworn I did this and then stop. Just stop on Stop it. It's like everything in her face and everything is just getting lost. Like, what happened to all my shadows? And I totally forgot her lipstick. That's something I forgot. I'm glad I came back up here. I'm not going to blend it out this time. I'm just going to let it be. Okay, maybe a little. No, I think it's blending itself out not gonna touch it so let's go over with the lipstick I kind of messed up but I think it still works oh no guys I'm ruined <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. It's just this side right here. What the heck did I do? I just want to throw the whole thing away. Oh, I'm so sad. I should have waited till it dried because it kind of bled. This is what I should have did before I did that line art there. I think I can cancel out this red a little bit. Yeah, I totally could have. I can't anymore. We're just about to put the line art on top. <laughs> done with the line art and I like it I love it a lot the lips are still bothering me of course but they're actually not bothering me that much anymore for whatever reason I don't know what happened don't know if they lightened up or what but it's not as bad so I'm just going to leave it you know I'm just gonna leave it and not worry about it because hey there's not much I can do, and I feel like if I keep going with it, oh, I'm going to mess it up. So, let's just leave it the way it is. Last but not least, we definitely got to put some highlights in here and bring back some of the white that we took out accidentally. I'm going to bring some light to the earring. There. Now our snow cone is looking a little more snow cone -y. Maybe I'll do like a, ooh, a little, there we go, yeah, yeah, that's all our little cone needed, it was just a little line, we didn't need stripes, I'm gonna come back here and try to add some, mm, I might have to do this with the red, I was gonna try to add some of, texture to the jacket I'm actually too scared to do it with the red though because that red is bold I mean this kind of adds texture to it I'm just scared it's going to blend in a lot it might be fine I feel like I definitely could have added some more lines here is this the right side oh no that's too big all right, so we're definitely done. This is my second time doing a uh, three marker challenge and I had a couple of challenges like the purples blending in together. Somehow these two colors are just like a match made in heaven. 
but I still think you kind of see the lightness of the other ones. So, I had a lot of fun coming up with something with just three markers. So, I might have to definitely do this again. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Oh, 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 oh,